of the 2017-2018 fire season has started and Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service is now better equipped for the firefighter. Today, 17 vehicles were commissioned at the fire headquarters on Rison Road in Port of Spain, where Chief Fire Officer Roosevelt Bruce corrected a newspaper report about the procurement of the vehicles. Ian Wason has more. Spanking new vehicles that will be put into use when the hot sun and the dry season, coupled with human input, ignite the dry vegetation. The 10 new fire appliances and the 7 ambulances collectively cost the government $37 million. When the fire service last commissioned utility vehicles, that's vehicles that are used for administration as opposed to firefighting, a report in a newspaper quoted the chief fire officer, Roosevelt Bruce, as saying the fire service is purchasing utility vehicles instead of firefighting vehicles because they were locally acquired. Mr. Bruce says it's not so. What I said is that we ordered firefighting appliances and utility vehicles. The utility vehicles were sourced locally, so they arrived first. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now received the emergency vehicles that we ordered together with the utility vehicles. After the inspection of the million dollar equipment, National Security Minister Edmund Dillon explained the ministry does not favor one arm of the protective services over another. Let's look at the procurement uh, methodology. It is based on the heads of the various divisions making a representation of what they require to do their job. And it goes through a process, so sometimes it's based on what the police ask for, what the fire service ask for, the prisons ask for, the defense force ask for. They make the priority listing, and therefore, based on what they prioritize, based on funds allocation, government takes place. So it's not a question of one getting more than the other. During his feature address, Minister Dillon did identify the stations that will be attended to in the coming year. In the four roads, Separia, Princestown, Rio Claro, Woodbrook, Hoover, Tunapuna Fire Station. In this fiscal year, you know that for certainly that we have provided some finances to treat with Crown Point. And of course, Roxbow Fire Station continues to be one area that we are focusing on in Tobago at this point in time. In Trinidad and Tobago, in Trinidad, we are looking at work should commence, or should have commenced on Aruka. We're also looking at Lady Hills. And of course, land acquisition for the Point 14 Fire Station has already started. Minister Dillon urged the fire service to properly maintain the million-dollar equipment. Ian Wason, C News.